go. Hi guys, what? <laughs> Thank you. Hold my hand again. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be recording a girlfriend tag with my girlfriend. This is Faith. Hi. Wake up, Kevin. Fine, you ready? are. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait. Hi guys, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Um, today I'm gonna be recording. Okay, babe, go. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you didn't already know, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a girlfriend tag, just answering questions so you guys can get to know us a little bit better. We are in a long distance relationship, so we're recording this right now because she's here right now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna get right into the questions. <laughs> so I asked you guys to ask questions on Twitter. And Wait, can you do that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Where do we live? So I live in LA, and she lives Vancouver, Canada. A thousand miles away seems pretty far. <laughs> You know it's actually not that far, like the miles apart. Yeah, it's a thousand. <laughs> okay. It is. Okay. I swear, it's like a thousand twenty-one. Okay, next. When and how did we meet? We met on Instagram. On March twenty-sixth, she um sent me a message. She was in my explore. What is it called? Explore feed page. Explore page. Yeah. And then she just she just went for it. <laughs> Tell him, babe. She yeah, was in my whole story again. again. She was in my explore page and then I pressed on her picture and I stalked her for a really long time. And then I wasn't gonna message her because she lives in LA. But I couldn't go to bed because I just wanted <laughs> You're hella dumb. Um, what was it day? You couldn't go to bed because you're oh, yeah, I kept thinking about me because I couldn't stop. Yeah, pretty much. So then I just went for it, but I wasn't planning on messaging her to start dating. I just wanted to message her. I don't know why. Just yeah, like, and then I I saw her in my message requests, and then I stalked her back, and then I was like, what the fuck? There's a fine ass girl in my DMs. But then I saw she lived in Canada, so I was like, okay, that's good, because I'm not really looking for anything serious, so we could just flirt and fuck around. So then we did that, and then it just got really serious. <laughs> we talked every day from the day I, messaged, I DM'd her. Yeah. Like, I, I asked her a number, like, the next day, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Except that was, for when you changed So that was my, in March. You changed my contact. Name. Yeah, because you lagged for five hours and I thought you ghosted me. Okay, so that was in March when we started like messaging each other and texting and stuff. And then we met in person in, at the end of May, so after two months of talking. We met in Wait, person. Does, is it, does that mean like in person? Are we nervous? Yeah. Oh. Why would you be nervous? I was nervous, nervous to message you. What? Because like what if you don't reply? That didn't make me nervous. So we met in person two months later. She was gonna try to surprise me and just fly here without telling me. No, I realized after that that was really dumb. Yeah. So I didn't. And it yeah, didn't so end she, up working. So she decided that it shouldn't be a surprise two weeks before she came. So I had two weeks to like plan stuff and then figure out stuff with work, which was not figured out. I got fired. But um, <laughs> yeah, were we nervous when we first met? Yes. On the plane, I was so nervous and my plane landed like 30 minutes early. Yeah, her plane, every time she comes, her plane lands so early, and so I'm always super late to pick her up. But it's not my fault. Like, I, if. Yeah, but you should know by now. Just okay. Come early. Okay. But no, this time I was like, your plane always lands hella early. And you're like, no, they just said we're landing hella late this time. They said that we were gonna be 25 minutes late, and we were like an hour early. It always says that my flight's three hours, and it ends up being like two hours. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I was super nervous when she was coming. Um, because 
I just didn't know how I was gonna be in person. Like even though we got along really good, like texting, like texting like 24 seven and FaceTiming yeah. and stuff. Like in person, like what if like we, you we you came in person and then like it was it just didn't. My click friends at all. were coming to California at that time that I came here. That's why I came because if you were weird, then I could yeah leave them. I mean leave you. But that's still really scary. Like if we didn't click in person, like the two months that we were talking would have been like trash. But it actually went like perfect. Um, but yeah, I was super nervous. The day she landed, I didn't eat. Like, I couldn't eat. And my stomach was just, like, super crazy. And then I picked her up, and then I was super nervous while I'm driving back to the house. Yeah, I could tell she was nervous when she picked me up and I got in the car. She kept, like, I don't know, you kept, like, adjusting. Like, moving your body and, like, your hair and, yeah. Yeah. Also, I was super nervous because my friends were like, oh, my God. When are you going to, how are you going to kiss her? That's going to be annoying in the video. I'm going to hear Sorry, I'm nervous right now too. <laughs> okay. Okay, next question. Like, we're taking too long. How long have we been dating? So we've been talking. Babe, I think we should, you should answer some too. So you're going to answer the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> we've been talking since March 26th. But last time I was here, I asked her to be my girlfriend on July 7th. <laughs> Can we do that all over again? How long have we been dating? We've been talking since March 26th, and we've been dating since, since July 6th. Yeah. Who, Who made, made the first move? Go ahead. I make the first moves for everything. I messaged her first, I came here first, I kissed her first, I asked her to be my girlfriend. I kissed her first, but I didn't really mean to. It was like... Two yeah. minutes in. Yeah, I was planning to kiss her first. I was just gonna chill a little bit first, like <laughs> feel it out. But you just went for it. When right we away. got to the Airbnb, um, I don't know what happened. I just I didn't even mean to. I just kissed her. Yeah, she's really bold. You're really bold, babe. Because I remember when we would FaceTime when we first started talking, and then I was putting chapstick on, and then you were like, "Are you getting ready to kiss me?" And I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> she's really bold." Okay. Anyways, you told me to take my shirt off. Who made the first move? Oh, we just we answered. <laughs> Wait, my hands are really sweaty. Like, I don't think you can. It's really hot in here. Are we the jealous type? <clears throat> yeah, I'll fuck you up. If you look <laughs> okay, am I the jealous type? Go. Um, she is, you are, but like, she doesn't get mad. I feel like there's different ways you can be jealous. Like, when I go out, it's not like you get mad at me. Like, where are you? Yeah, I let her do whatever she wants, and like, I trust versa. her enough. Like, we trust each other enough to make our own decisions. Like, we're not stupid. So yeah, but I do get a little jealous, I guess. <laughs> uh, you don't? I feel like you don't get jealous at all. Yeah, I do, but I just trust you a lot. Okay. But I see everyone sliding on your shit on Twitter. People say bold ass thing, can I sit on your face? Like, no, you cannot. Okay. Favorite date. What was yours again? Disneyland? Yeah. Okay, mine is, um... Favorite date is Disneyland, but my favorite time with you was <clears throat> the first night. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the flashback in my head because I was trying to remember my favorite day I think was when we went to the museum and then Hollywood mm -hmm. after yeah that was good too yeah. how old are we I, I'm turning 20 in two days I'm 19 she's six months older but she's 19 yeah. so our birthdays are July 30th so I'm a Leo and hers is January 7th and she's a Capricorn how tall are we we're like the same height, I feel like. We're like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, right? I don't know, I haven't like measured myself in a minute. Yeah, I think we're both 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, we see each other in our future. Yes, otherwise I wouldn't be in it. What's the point if you don't? Yeah, I really do. See like, like it's crazy, like it's so crazy, like long distance. I never thought I'd be doing long distance, but, but I really feel like we're gonna figure something out and end up together. We work really well together. Yeah. Um, I keep saying that Faith's mom doesn't support her. How did she come out? Um, my mom caught me talking to a girl in grade seven, but I pretended like 
it wasn't anything and then the day I got back from seeing her for the first time I didn't come out as a specific thing I just said that I have a girlfriend um she's just processing she's it right coming now. around yeah <laughs> she'll come around she's just processing it it's a big thing so <laughs> well for them it is what's a habit that the other person finds annoying she doesn't okay when she talks to me she doesn't look at my eyes or like she like, when she talks to me she just looks at everything but my eyes and she just stares at my lips the whole time okay i don't make eye contact with anyone like i feel like eye contact is so like violating and like awkward like i don't know it makes me awkward nervous with well with you okay but like no but like when you tell me to look at your eyes i do it's just like I I'm have used to, to tell not, you every time. I know, but I'm just not used to making eye contact. But I'm working on it. <laughs> mm, I don't know what bugs me that you do. Like, what about when we're not together? Is there something I do? I don't know. Can we skip? Can I skip? Because I don't think. Wait, I... what was the question again? Something that bother that nothing find, bothers that you annoying. about me. I don't know. Do I ever say you're so annoying? Yes, every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but when you do what? Come on, help me out. Um. Okay, we're gonna skip that one because I don't know anything else. Um, do you plan on moving in together? Yes, yes, eventually. But I'm illegal to move here. Yeah, she's working on her, what is it called? Dual citizenship. Because my dad lives in Texas, so I can get dual citizenship. Yeah. But it so just takes she, a long time. So she wants to move here. I don't know why. I think we should live in Canada because they're nicer and it's nicer. Yeah. We'll have a house there and here when we're rich. I, I hope in like two years, max. Two years? Max. That's so long. I said max though. So like, so we need to hurry up and finish and get our shit straight so we can do it already. Alright, what was your first impression of each other? P.S. Love you both. And oh wait, I'm just not. Gonna, why did I read that part? <laughs> what was our first impression of each other? Go. Um. In person. In, oh no, both. Okay. In pictures, like I just thought, like I, she was fine as fuck. Like, I I need a specific, I have a specific type, like, very specific, and she just hit every point. And then, and the, but, like, the thing I noticed the most was your eyes in pictures and in person. In person, her eyes, they're brown, but they're super bold and round and big and pretty. Um, I just thought she was fine as fuck in pictures and in person. And I like her style. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, your turn. Oh, wait, what was the question? What was the first, first impression? impression? Okay, on messages, I was really surprised um, that there is a finance girl on my DM requests because my DM requests are usually just super weird. So, yeah, I thought you were really fine too, and I liked how you dressed. And just my type too, because I like that. No, you don't. You're just like me. Yeah. And then in person, I thought, bro, I really, like, it's so crazy. Like, I already thought you were pretty, but then in person, it's like a hundred times more. Like, I already told you. Like, she's, like, like, she looks so pretty right now on camera, but I swear when you see her in person, it's like crazy how pretty she is. And every time I fucking see her, she gets more attractive. <laughs> All right. What, am I your first girlfriend? Yeah. I've talked to girls. I was kind of with a girl, but she's like the reason I like was comfortable enough to come out and yeah, she, be public. She came out with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's okay. my first and last girlfriend. What's it like doing long distance? Okay. So this is our first this is both of our first times, right? Doing long distance. Like an actual relationship because like I've flirted with people. Okay, Max, no one cares. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, I, I would never be serious with anyone long distance, and then, but this is the first time, and I feel like you make it super easy. 
Like it's we, just hard not seeing each other and trying to save to move together, but then also having to pay money every to time see we each see other. each other. Yeah, I think that's the hardest part. Like saving money. It's just because hard not seeing like other. flights, and then since we like don't see like. I know she's going back home, so we do like a lot of stuff when she's here, like like big dates and stuff. So we spend a lot of money, but I feel like long distance is so much different. When you're like dating someone that li that lives local to you, like you guys go on dates and stuff, but like long distance, like she comes and then like we sleep together and then like, we wake up together and we, we're just like together 24 seven. So it just like hits different. And yeah, it's like I feel like the connection is like so much stronger and more. But jealous. I wouldn't. But it sucks when we're apart. So I like it's cool, but I wouldn't want it. Like I want it to end. Like I want. I want her to live here already. Um, someone asked if we started as friends first or if we just went for it. Like, yeah, it was. You no, know, we're best friends now, but we didn't. Like we just started off right away as flirting and stuff um, advice for long distance relationships trust each other and yeah. communicate that's the biggest thing i have really like i have like really bad trust issues because bitches be bonkers but you do really good at like reassuring me and stuff so i trust you yeah, you have to have trust because if you're long distance, you can't just never go out. And obviously, you're, the person won't be there with you. Oh, understand oh, I know, each no, other. I know a good one. Take a lot of photos and videos every time you guys see each other because that shit goes a long way when you guys are apart. Like, I really... I relook in my pictures like every five minutes. Yeah, me videos. too. Like, that's all... When you guys are apart, that's all you're going to have like to remember. So... Like, I know it sucks, like, being on your phone and stuff. Like, you don't want to be on your phone when you're with each other. But the pictures and videos, you need them. Siblings. We have siblings. Yes, I have three brothers and two sisters. I have three brothers. Mm, how many tattoos do we have? Go. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Four? Four? I don't know. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Four. Yeah, yeah. I have four. I have two. The ones I got in Vegas. Okay, one of them doesn't even count. They count as one. <laughs> how the fuck does this count as one? They don't go look together. Look how small it is. Okay, it's still a tattoo. You can't even see <laughs> it. I eventually want to get a whole sleeve, and I'm going to start getting tatted on my legs. So, yeah, I'm going to be more attractive when I have. But it doesn't matter because eye color. Mine are fucking brown. No, but they're really pretty. They're not just brown. <laughs> Hers are really pretty. They're like um um green. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like yellow too and brown too. Like they're not hazel. They're more green and yellow and really pretty. Someone told her at the nail salon today that her eyes are sexy and I was about to fucking kick her. It was the old lady that was doing my nails. Yeah. She was really like, kept staring at her the whole time and complimenting her. And I was like, yeah, she's really pretty, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Who wins arguments? Me. Okay, no, that's a lie, no, but kidding. we don't argue. We've never had like a big argument. No. You just got mad at me. Remember that? But that was. Remember yeah. what? But that was before we even like together together. Yeah. But that was still like our first little thing. Cause you misunderstood. No, that's not a misunderstanding. But probably you do that now. No. Okay. Because I know it bothers you, and we talked about it, so I changed. <laughs> we don't argue. Like we get in, like rarely though. Like we, we get into disagreements. But we, it's never an argument. Like, we, we're fast to, like, communicate something that's bothering us. And... We just understand each other's side and then compromise. Yeah. But, like, like that rarely it. happens. It's never, like, well, you shouldn't be getting mad at this. It's, like, okay, I understand what you're saying. And I'll fix it. Who's better at basketball? Me. Me. We're going to figure it out soon because we're going to the court. I'm definitely better. I'm definitely better. 
I just feel like I'm overall better. Who wins when we played at like arcade? When we played at the arcade? Both of us? No, I won. No. Yes. I won the one that wasn't keeping score. <laughs> Cause she made it up in her head that you won. I know for a fact I won that one and just didn't calculate them. It's okay, well we're gonna figure it out soon. Okay. I'm better. How many kids do we want? Two or four, right? Two or three. No, we're not having an odd oh, yeah. number of okay, kids. Fine. Two or four. I want two of my own, like to come out of me. And then I want to adopt one. And I want her to- What? Be that's three, babe. <laughs> okay, but I want three. So then you're gonna have a- you're gonna get pregnant. No, I'm one. not gonna get pregnant. I'll adopt another one when you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I want her to get pregnant because look how pretty the babies will be. Who shows, shows more love? Me. No, me. Shut the fuck up. How, are you, you how do you show more love? I'm- I feel I, like I had to, like, like, I'm the one that made you comfortable enough to show yeah. me love. Yeah. Because I'm super affectionate, so then she's super no, affectionate. No, but, but from the beginning, I was affectionate with you. I, I yeah, didn't. but you wouldn't have been if I wasn't. And you can't say that you yeah, would have been. Yeah, okay, true. Yeah. But now I'm more affectionate. In the beginning, she was. No. Yes. Oh my god, who I kisses who that? more? I kiss you way more. No. Yes, I always grab you to cuddle me. All Look at me right now, like I'm all over you. Yeah, I'm all over you too. But when we watch this, we'll see who goes in for kisses more. It was me every time. I'm way more affectionate. No, she's not. I am. Who was touching your boobs with their feet? Me? <laughs> <laughs> a breakfast dinner at a restaurant with no Why socks Why did you say on. breakfast dinner? <laughs> At breakfast dinner because we eat breakfast at fucking 5 p.m. Travel. Where do you want to travel? Oh, yeah. Where do we want to go? I want to go to Italy. Wait. We're going to Vegas tomorrow and, and we're going to Mexico on the weekend. So those are going to be our first mini road trip vacations. But like bigger picture traveling. Italy. We want to go on a trip next summer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want to go on a trip next summer. Um, I'm gonna come see her in Canada, so that's gonna be a first time for me because I've never been to Canada. So I'm excited. I'm uh, so excited. I want to go to Italy and Bali and France, right? Yeah, Paris. Um, I want to go everywhere. I want to go as many places I, as I can go. Backpacking. Babe, you fucking pack so much shit. You're not going backpacking. <laughs> you do you too. Cannot you cannot look at your shoe boxes for like five days. Okay, well, so we both can't do it, but don't say backpacking like you're not. Yeah, the, never yeah. Um, Outfits, what does that mean? Oh yeah, who has a better outfit? Someone asked. You can't really answer that because we have different yeah, styles. Yeah, we, we dress different. Um, Who's a more annoying sleeper? You. <laughs> Bro, she really pushes me to the edge of the fucking bed no matter how big I the bed is. I don't push her. I try to cuddle her the whole... Well, I'm asleep so I don't fucking know, but I'm definitely just trying to cuddle her. And then no! yes, actually yesterday I woke up in the bed and you were like right at the edge so I moved, I moved over. Like I was like really in you. I think I get hot and then and then I move over in my sleep. She's always hot all the time. But then you fucking like really come to me and then I'm like my head is hanging <laughs> off the bed. One time she yeah. woke me up and she's like, um, can you move over? I was like, babe, scoot over. I'm about to fall off. Um, who hogs the blanket more? You. Well, you don't even like blankets. I know. You're always hot. Cause she likes the fan on and I don't cause I'm always cold. So I need the blanket and she has a fan with no blankets. So yeah, actually you. Put it on like half your body. Like you always stick one leg out of the blanket. Anyway, she's always cold, I'm always hot, so um, the blanket goes fully on her and half on me. First, Sate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I typed wrong, you made a typo. Our first date was Disneyland, right? Yeah. Took her to the Dodger game. Check Except you. we didn't even watch the Dodger game. And we were drunk as fuck. Okay. You were extra. Cause I couldn't breathe, bro. <laughs> I, it was a lot of people there. And it was our it was our last night together when we were at the Dodger game, so we were like, fuck this Dodger game. I wanna go lay down. Um 
Which was a bigger crackhead? Oh, Faith is a fucking extreme crackhead. She really craves espresso shots. Because they wake me up. What do you mean? Who the fuck craves it though? Like you, you crave, you drink coffee every morning. Okay, but not shots, straight shots. That's weird that you. Okay, drink but it. I put it over ice with caramel. Also, and she stays up hella late. I always fall asleep first when we're apart. There's Have we met each other's family? I haven't met her family, but and she hasn't met my family either. But she's meeting them this week tomorrow. I'm excited. They're gonna love her. I tell them what they said, what your mom said to me. My mom calls Faith my girlfriend already. Like, when I came out to my mom like two years ago, she was really disgusted by it and like did not support it at all. Doesn't agree with the whole like homosexual stuff. So she's like super against it and has never told anybody. Like she's embarrassed to say it. Um, but now that I'm with Faith, she's like getting better at it and I talk to her about her all the time like I tell her every time she's coming over here and and the other day she was on the phone and she was talking to her friend and she told her that um that my girlfriend just landed from Canada so she calls Faith my girlfriend mm. oh yeah songs. songs so we have do we have any songs we have so many the first one I think about is to the moon always because and faithful just because you showed me those two songs first yeah, and then I when I think about our songs, are somebody, and fuck, there's so many though. Like I, I really need to look at our playlist. Oh god. Oh my god, they posted something. Liz is the crackhead. The fucking <laughs> username. <laughs> is this a new account? Yeah. New. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a video. What the fuck? They made this edit really fast. Huh. Oh my god, you're so fine. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> Wait, are they being dead ass? Please delete this. I can't believe they posted that. Wait, I need that. to screenshot it before. No way! It's okay, you're still hot. Did you see break? Just Like Me reminds me of you, because you, that was the first song you showed No, it wasn't the first song you showed me. My favorite song that you showed me. No Guidance also. Yeah. But those songs just remind me of you because we listen to them together all the time. Yeah. Any Drake song reminds me of her. I don't know, a lot of gay songs are in you because I relate to them. But yeah, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for future videos that we're going to be making together. Oh yeah, follow our social medias. Tell them your stuff. I don't even know my stuff. Just look me up, Leo Liz, on Twitter and, in and Instagram and she's all over my pages. So yeah, and um, make sure you don't skip our ads on our videos, so we can <laughs> so we can move so we can together. move in together already. Thanks. And then we can film more videos too. Yeah, it's a win-win. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.